In this video, we will look at the router operation. The router is a device working in layer 3 or working in internetworking layer. In this example, we have two networks, network 10.0.0.0 and network 11.0.0.0. In the first network 10.0.0.0, we have computer A which has IP address 10.0.0.1 and MAC address AA and we have computer B which has IP address 10.0.0.2 and MAC address BB and we, we have routers interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0 which has IP address 10.0.0.3 and MAC address R1 and we have a hub which connects the three components with each other. In the second network, we have the router's interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 1, which has IP address 11.0.0.3 and MAC address R2. And we have computer C, which has IP address 11.0.0.1 and MAC address CC. And computer D, which has IV address 11.0.0.2 and MAC address DD and we have a hub which connects the three components with each other. Our target in this example is to make computer A send the data to computer D. First computer A will take the data which exists in the application layer and send it to the transport layer. The transport layer will add its header to the data and send it to the internetworking layer. The internetworking layer will add its header to the data to form the internetworking packet and this packet will be sent to data link layer. The data link layer will add its header to make a frame and this frame will be sent to physical layer. Then the physical layer will convert this data to electrical signal to be sent over the cable. Let's take a look on the internetworking bucket. In the internetworking bucket, we will see the data and we will see that the destination IP address will be 11.0.0.2, which is the IP address of computer D. And the source IP address will be 10.0.0.1, which is the IP address of computer A, the source computer. So, this packet will be sent to the data link layer. Let's take a look also on the data link frame. In the data link frame, we will see the data and we will see that the destination MAC address is R1, which is the MAC address of the router's interface. And the source MAC address is AA, which is the MAC address of the source computer A. Why did computer A put the destination MAC address in the router's interface MAC address R1 and did it put it as the destination computer MAC address DD? This is because that the data link function is to transmit the data between two nodes in the same network. So the destination MAC address must be in the same network of the source computer. So computer A put the destination MAC address equals to R1 which is the MAC address of the router's interface that exists in the, in the same network of the source computer. So the data will be sent from data link to a physical layer. The physical layer converts the data into electrical signal and sends it over the cable so the data will reach the hub. The hub will flood the data out of all its ports so the data will reach router's interface gigabit ethernet 0 over 0. In the router, in the router we have a table called routing table. The routing table is stored in the router's memory. In the routing table we have two columns, interface column and network column. In the interface column, the interface column lists all the interface, the interfaces of the router. The network column lists all the networks that the router connects to. So, 
In the router, when the router receives the data on its interface gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0, it will look first on the data link layer. In the data link layer, it will look at the destination MAC address. It will find it R1, which is its own MAC address. Then it will look at the internetworking layer. In the internetworking layer, it will look at the destination IP address. It will find it the destination it will find the destination IP address equals to 11.0.0.2. The IP 11.0.0.2 belongs to network IP 11.0.0.0 So the router will look at its routing table and search for uh, IP 11.0.0.0 It will find this network IP connected to its interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 1 So the router now knows that it must send this data over its interface Gigabit interface 0 over 1 So Let's take a look on the data sent over router's interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 1. We will find that in the internetworking packet, we will find that the destination IP address equals to 11.0.0.2, which is the IP address of the destination computer D, and the, IP ad and the source IP address will be 10.0.0.1, which is the IP address of the source computer A. Then we can take a look on the data link frame, in the data link frame, we will find that the destination MAC address equals to DD, which is the MAC address of the destination computer D, and the source MAC address equals to R2, which is the MAC address of the router's interface Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 1. So we can observe that the data link frame, which entered to the router over its port Gigabit Ethernet 0 over 0, is different from the data link frame which the router exits from its interface gigabit ethernet 0 over 1 why the router changed the data link frame this is because the data link layer function is to transmit the data between two nodes in the same network Th so the source and destination make addresses must be in the same network so the router put the source make address equals to its interface make address gigabit ethernet 0 over 1 which equals to r2 and the destination make address equals to dd which is the make address of destination computer d then the data will be sent to the physical layer. The physical layer converts the data into electrical signal and sends it over the cable. So the data will be received by the hub. The hub floats the data out of all its ports. So the data will be received by computer D, which is the destination computer. So the most important point that we must know from this video is that the router sends the internet working packet as it is. It didn't make any change in the internet working packet, but the router changes the source and destination MAC addresses that exists in the data link frame. So the router changes in the data link frame.